in Araba, in Nigeria, you have some duties. Can you talk a little bit about this? Uh, the function of Araba. Yes. That's what you mean. Yes, that's it. Araba is used to administrate the time. I mean, the government with the king. Araba is in a position. Every time there's a problem in the town, the king will summon Araba to the palace, explain the situation, what is going on in the city. Araba is going to assemble his cabinet. There used to be a cabinet chiefs that work together with Araba. So you choose this cabinet or not? I, I have my cabinet, but uh, you ch yes. I have to choose them. Yeah. So we we have to meet him and consult Ifa and advise the king what necessary to do. Might be sacrifice. The king will provide all the material ingredients to perform sacrifice. If there is a drought, any problem from time to time, apart from that, every week, there used to be a weekly propitiation that Araba and his chiefs we have to perform on behalf of the king and the whole community to make sure there's a peace in the town, there's a prayer. There used to be big week called Itadogun, 17th day. All the Babalao we meet at House of Ifa, Araba is the president. So it happens once a year? 17 day, Seven. once in a month. Ah, once in a month. Ah. But there's a, apart from the weekly. Yeah, apart from the weekly. We, we, have, we have a weekly prayer, yeah. weekly meeting. We also have a monthly, once in a month. In the 17 days? 17 days. Ah, okay, now I understand. So that one happened once in a month. Once in a month. We meet, we perform the ritual sacrifice, for the town, for the king, for the government, government of the state, yeah. the governor, and all his cabinets. Okay. So the king asks you about any subject? The king, on, on, he will have to inform his job subject when necessary. So, apart from the Weekly, monthly, we also have annual, annual festival that we have to perform for the king, for the town, for the city, for the governor, for the whole city. Mm -hmm. This annual event takes a week. The, the first day, all the Babalao, they will have to go to the grove. There used to be a sacred grove for Ifa. They will clear the path and make the prayer inside the Ifa, the Ifa grove for all individuals. From there, all the Babalao, old and young, they will start music. They take procession there to the palace. From there, they come to the Araba. They will give information to Araba how everything went. The following week, Araba and all the Babalao we have to go to the family house of the king 
to wash and clean activated paravenenia object of eking ifa for the king. The king we are to supply all ingredients, cola, scotch, goat, dry fish, dry rat, money. And we make the prayer for the king. We slaughter the animal and they provide the food and drink for all Babalaos. From there, all the family of the king, all the Babalao and Araba, we take procession to the palace to inform the king about ritual sacrifice that make. Okay, so during this uh, procedure, the king and his family are not present when you are dealing the king, with... Oh, the king we sent some of his family to to the place. He himself will stay at the, pal at the palace. Oh, okay. we, we went there to inform him. We take music, gong, drumming, songs, dancing, to meet him. Okay. Trumpet. Trumpet. To meet him. Uh -huh. So we give him the prayer, then we tell him outcome of the ritual. Mm -hmm. That night, they are going to be all night Fiji at the King family house. This night called Aisunifa, it is all the Babalao we have to recite 17 Odu. This is a place where they recite what they call Iyere. Iyere, poetry, voice of Ifa. The event starts by 8 p.m. until 5 a.m. in the morning. Recitation of Ifa, music, dancing, prayer, ritual for the king, for the town, for the government, for all inhabitants. Okay, but is this inside the palace or in the front? It happened at the family house of the king. At the family house. In the morning, the, another goat is going to be slaughtered to appease all Ifa recitation. So in the very early in the morning. So by 10 a.m., the king will be expecting to play the host, all the king maker, all inhabitants of the city, they will come to the palace. The Babalaos, all Olorisha, they will take procession from the king family house, music, dancing, to meet the king at the palace. All the chiefs will be assemble, the king and his queen, they will be assembled. The Babalao will dance. Then after the normal greeting and prayer, they start another Ifa recitation again to make the prayer for the king, for the city, for the government, for all inhabitants. After the recitation of Ifa, they play the music. Then they will invite all people to come to dance one by one. The king will start the dance and his queen. Araba will dance with the king. The king will give money to the musician, to the babalaos. Then he went back to, to sit. They will sing a song to invite Oshun devotee. The Oshun devotee will come. They sing a song to invite Ogun, Shango, Elegbara, all practitioner Orisha that came to the palace. They will have to come to dance one by one. One by one. Hmm. After all this, 
the king will provide another goat. Money, cola nut, scotch. The Ojugono. There's a chief called Ojugono who's going to split the cola, making the prayer for the king. Sixteen Odrifa will have to be recite. They slaughter the animal, they kill. That will end of that ceremony. Then the king will provide food and drink for all the, the guests. Okay, this food is a special one or can be any kind of food? It's, it's not a special, but it's going to be a lot. A lot. Because a lot of people. Yes. The king will have to kill a cow. Uh -huh. uh, food and drinks. Beer, scotch, that is what they are used. Uh -huh. So, from the king's palace, all the Babalawo will take a procession to Araba house. To your house. They will come to the Araba, they play the music, they dance along the road with Araba. So, when, they, when we arrive at Araba palace, they are going to be meeting how everything went. So the following day, they will go to greet the king. Araba sent some Babalao to the palace to greet him, to wish him a quadrum, happy new year. Five days, they are going to be divination for the king, for the time. That is complete annual ceremony after the year. The next one is next year. Mm -hmm. And this divination is for the year or for the moment? What is it? For, for? the year. For the year. So, uh, Daniel told me you're not allowed to drink palm wine. Why is it so? Well, if you have an Obatala, any Obatala uh, family is forbidden to drink palm wine. So when we have ceremony, there are three categories of a war, taboo. There used to be family a war, family taboo. There used to be general a war. There used to be personal a war. So when you combine all these, you'll be able to know which one you are falling to. Uh -huh. So, so can you talk about your awards? My own award? Yeah. Um, I have a lot of uh, things mm -hmm. that, uh, for example, it is because of Obatala, I, we have Ogun in our family. We are allowed to drink palm wine, but personally, I don't drink palm wine. And I'm a child of Oshun. I came through the water to my parents. So I have to abstain from anything that made from moth, guinea coin, mortina, any or anything. You know the beer they are making? There's so I have to act because I have Oshun. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of Oshun. That's the reason why. And there are some food. There are some vegetable. I must not eat a uh, snake. There's a kind of vegetable. I love vegetable, but there's a special one that I must not mm -hmm. take. My family or my wife, they know all this. Uh, okay. we, we have different name for the uh, vegetable, so you have to know. I know all my own, my own personal taboo like that. You remember I asked you about the role of a woman in the other interview. Uh, you said uh, uh, mostly about the religion parts, but I would like in the daily life, what are the, role, uh, what are the roles of a woman in, in, in a house, for instance, in your house? It's different from the, the tasks of a man, okay. of course. Yeah, okay, um, uh, in um, religion, that's the function yeah. of a woman. But a woman as housewife. Yeah. 
That's what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Their duty of a, any woman to her husband, to all this domestic work at home, is a duty of a woman in your land. Before this modern uh, style, modern people came. A woman is supposed to sweep the ground, wash the clothes, cook the food. In the morning, need them to greet her husband. And it is a duty of the husband to be responsible for all upkeeping, giving the woman money to buy the food stock, to take care of the food for the family. Mm -hmm. A woman is also need to take care of her husband. Her food has to be prepared on time. I mean, three, three meals a day. And in olden day, when they used to be a farmer, woman we have to join her husband in a family, the little she can do, but most of the time she will have to collect the crops, take them to the market and sell, bring back money for her husband, okay. if you are a farmer. So in, in the time when people are engaged in different kind of uh, profession, the little they can do, a woman is allowed to support their husband with their work. And a woman must provide, she must have accommodation, food, clothes, all her needs. A woman, a man must be able to provide all this. That is why it takes a man so long before they say this decided they want to marry because you must have the capability of taking care of this responsibility if you are not have capability to take care of one wife properly you are not allowed to marry second wife if you are married two wives, that means you are, have capability of taking care of four wives. When you have married four wives, your capability must be able to take care of eight wives. That is what it is. In the modern, everything is sharing now. The responsibility is sharing. In modern day, between male and female, be, between men, men and women, the, even the, the the work at home, mm -hmm. you do this, I do that. But in in olden days, not like that. Another day, even no. the responsibility. Nowadays, some women they buy food stuff to the house. The house husband will have to pay bills. You pay telephone. You pay uh, house. You take care of the car. You pay school fee for the children. But before, in olden day, traditionally, it's a responsibility of their husband. Okay. Since a man can have several women, how does it work? You have more than one woman in the that is what I say, that you must be able to take care of them. Yes. But no. what you are trying to say is that uh, uh. how do you want to be with them traditionally? Everything has to be equal. What you did for wife one, if you buy clothes, you buy four. Anything you buy, any item, it, you have to treat them, treat them equally. That is the way it is. Everything has to be equally. Yes, but the tasks between, uh, among the women, 
how uh, uh, do they share the task? Is there an hierarchy? This one will do this, that one will do that. How does it work? There are sometimes they, they used to meet him ah. among themselves, say, I will do this, you do this. Okay. Sometimes they say, okay, from Monday to Sunday, I'm going to take care of the house. Next week, you take it. Okay, they swap. That's how they do. Sometimes they say, for the month, from the beginning of the month, I'm the one who's going to cook, taking care of the house. Next month, it's your turn. You do that. Do you have a TV set in your house? No. I have TV. Yeah. Everybody's allowed to watch TV anytime? At yes. At any time? Yes. Yes. Okay. They do, do. Do you have cell phone? We have cell phone. Everybody, even the children can have cell phone? Yes. Computer, PC? Everybody has it. Okay. You want to say something? Mama, uh, if you want, uh, tell us one story of your book of uh, adventures of Obatala. There are so many good stories in that book. Tell us one story. Which one? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Daniel told me one. He started to tell me. Which one was? Uh, why the woman have a period. A oh, period. I, I don't the remember the name Yemu. of the woman. Yemu. Yemu. Yes. The, 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 the principal wife, wife of Obatala. No, you, you know, the, that one happened because of curiosity. Yemu liked to drink the blood. And Obatala is, she, he wants to please his wife. Because that was the first wife Obatala had. And after food, everything, it is blood that she drink. So Obatala went to a diviner that he wanted to place his wife to provide daily blood for her. So the Ifa priest prepared a spoon, a wood spoon for Obatala. Obatala kept this wood spoon inside a sack. So every night, he will took the shark, went to the forest. Obatala will climb the tree and look for the animal. Anytime that he see the animal, he will point the wood spoon to the animal to draw the blood from the animal and took this blood home for his wife. Every now and then, this is what Obatala, but Iemo does not know where the blood came from. And she used to see her husband uh, shark take. So one day she make hole with the shark. She punch, punch the shark on Obatala on her wear. And Iemo put ashes inside the shark. So Obatala on a wear take the shark and the ashes follow the footpath of Obatala to the forest. So Iemo started to trace the ashes to her husband. And Obatala did not know that somebody is coming behind when Obatala here, the sand, he points the wood to Iyemo and the blood draw from her body. Iyemo was faint that when Obatala came back, why, why you do this? Why you do this? Because she wanted to know where her husband that is, you know, this is what happened to a woman. Every woman, they have this attitude. They, they used to be curiosity about their husband movement. They always like to know where you are, where, what you do. That happened from the times of Iemo. And the blood started to gush out from our pri private part every day. And Onumila has to be informed, they perform the sacrifice, 
And uh, for me, I say, this is how the blood will come out from a private part every month. That's what establish menstruation, period cycle, that a woman used to mm -hmm. have. Nice. <laughs> there is a, a question I have. Uh, what do you eat in your daily life? And when you come to Brazil, is it difficult to, to eat Brazilian food? Well, I always like to adjust to uh, anywhere I travel to. Yeah. I know what I can eat, I know what I cannot eat. I'm very careful in terms not to, because I know it may resort to sickness if, I, if I'm not be careful. There's a lot of, especially in this country, there's a lot of sweet things. So if I'm not careful, it may make me sick. So I have to be careful in terms of, as you know, doing everything I do. My food, I just take a little bit of what I know I can eat here. I don't see all what I can eat here. But if I see, it's not available. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I just manage myself. Anywhere, all over the world. I used to be traveling to everywhere. So, I'm not trained to foreign, foreign land. So, I used to take care of myself. So, what's, what do you take for breakfast, for lunch? And you mean at home? At home, yes. Oh, at home. I used to, normally I take uh, what they call like a custard, it, it, like a oatmeal. oatmeal. It's called coin food, a kobugbona. I use medicine with it. I like fruit. I like fruit, like uh, watermelon, grape, purple. I, three of them, they prepare it every morning for me. After I take that uh, fruit and I take that custard, coin food, I mix medicine with it. In the, for the lunch, I take um, amala. What is it? Amala is like yam flour. Ah, yam flour. But sometimes like a wheat, what they call wheat here. Mm. I take um, I like okra and uh, fish. I don't eat any beef. No beef, no goat. You're not allowed to. No chicken. Mm. So I, I take snail. Snail? I eat snail and fish. Mm -hmm. That's all. Do you cultivate any vegetable at home? No. Yes. Yes. And animals too? No. And snails? No. no. You buy at the market? Mm. Only fish and the snail. No mm -hmm. other animal. Okay. And. Um, you said you t you mix some medicine in the in bre in the me in the oatmeal in, in mm -hmm. the morning. Is it is it every day the same or you change it? Yeah, it changes. Se oh, okay. Do you take any medicine uh, from the drugstore? No, I no. use traditional med herb medicine. Herb medicine, not. I don't take a drugstore. Nothing at all. Okay. Can you tell us your age? How old are you? Uh, I'm going to be 69 this year. 69. Next year I'll be 70. 70. Okay. Do you count the time differently from us? No. Well, uh, we count time, day of week. Uh, take for example, Osheifa is weekly prayer. It counts five days. Mm -hmm. Five days make one week. one week. And uh, we used to have big week, which is 17 days. 29 days make a month in Yoruba mm. calendar. That's how we count. Morning, Ouro, Osa, Afternoon, Ale, Evening. Mm -hmm. So we are all, we are all that. So you said. Uh, Week, day, week, and month, but you don't count the years. We have years. Years. Traditional year. We have years. Yeah. In and how many months in a year? Uh, we used to have uh, 
sometimes it used to be 12 months, sometimes it depends because it used to reduce. Mm. <laughs> Our days reduce. 30 days is what European calendar used to count. We count 29 days. You know that one is reduced. 29 days, one month. So it's according to the moon, maybe. We have 10 months for one year, while the Europeans have 12 months in one year. Mm. Okay. So according to Yoruba tradition, uh, you are in which year? Uh, you mean this year? We don't give name to the year. We give name to the months and day. Today is Ojo Ariku. That is Sunday. Otherwise known as Ojo Isumi. Monday is known as Ojo Aje. The day that the money arrives on the heart. Tuesday is Ojo Ishegun. Wednesday is day of confusion. The day that all the trouble enter the world. Mm. Thursday is Ojobo. That was the day they were named, giving the name to all the, the, the days. Formerly, people used to wake and sleep and wake. They don't know identification of each day. But the Thursday was the day that they know this day is this, this day is this. Friday is called Ojoeti, the day of postponement. Saturday is Abameta, three resolutions. So we do not have a, a name for the year. We have name for the months. January is called the month of Shere Ushu Shere Igbe or Wenwe Ushu Ogun Agema Ushu Ope. Those are the names that we have for the months. Mm. But we don't have a, this year is a year of, uh, just like Chinese, the year of dog, year of the animal, year of, no, we don't, just have. We know a modern is a new year, new year. That's how we count. Yes, but don't you count the years? How long does the earth exist? How long does the man exist? Isn't there a number, for instance? No, there's no number. No because number. The, the written and writing is not uh, uh, get to the Yoruba people until late. Mm -hmm. 10,057. So. What this number means? Hmm. No.